What's going on guys, Timpers HD here and today we've got a pretty special video for you guys because today, well yesterday, we hit 300 subscribers which is pretty big for me because uh, it's just great to see that a lot of people are actually watching my videos and the support recently has been absolutely amazing like you guys just comment on the videos but yeah, thanks so much guys for 300 subscribers um, this weekend I'll probably be doing a giveaway so make sure you stay tuned um, follow me on Twitter I'll put the link in the description so make sure you follow me on there um, so yeah we'll probably be doing a giveaway for you guys um, in this video today we'll be doing a Minecraft tutorial as you can tell from the title I'll just be showing you what I would usually do when I'm making a Minecraft banner um, a lot of you guys suggested to make this video, so here it is. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, I'll start off in Cinema 4D. Um, for tutorial purposes, I'll just get a skin off Nova Skin. I'll put a link in the description, but um, I'll probably just use this skin right here. Just click save at the top, and then click save again, and then you just click download when download there and then you can just drag that to a place where you know so I'll just drag that to my desktop um, my desktop was pretty full before but as you can see I've kind of cleared it up a bit kind of still quite full but yeah now I've got the skin I can come off Nova and then go back onto Cinema 4D then um, the rig I'm using um, it's FMR 4.0. I'll put the link in the description for you to download that. But yeah, then you just click this and then go to skin file, go to the desktop, go to where you saved it and then find the skin. Where is it? Okay, oh there it is. So we got the skin now. And then just basically click this at the top, this thing here, and then it comes up with this. And this is where you get to move the character around. So you can do anything. Oh, I'm not going to do anything too hard. But yeah, before you do anything, go up here and then go to light. Just to make it look a bit more 3D and realistic. Adds a bit of shadow. So I usually just do this. I don't really have a lighting like pack. So I just do this. And put one behind him. So there you've got the lighting now and then you can actually start making him do a pose or something. So let's do that. I'll probably just pause this video right here and then when I get back I'll have this done for you guys. So here's what I've done. I've finished it and now once you've finished your Minecraft pose you go up here to end edit render settings and go to save make sure it's a PNG make sure alpha channels checked then just save it to wherever you want I'm just going to save it to desktop again skin pose and then you can go to this and go to best once you've done that, click this in the middle, the middle one, and it should render it out. It shouldn't take that long because it's only skin. So yeah, this is what I do on Cinema 4D. Usually I get more than one character though, but because it's only a tutorial, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, um, I think that's done. And then once you've done that, you can go to Photoshop. Um, you need like a background. I'm using Envy Prods Pack. It's got some screenshots in it, so I'll just choose one. Um, hmm. Which one to choose? I might go for this one. Not use this one yet. So let's go for this one. Um, so then you just want to make it actually fit the screen. So there. Oh, try that again. 
Then, once you've done that, you right click rasterize layer. And then, after that, usually I make it look more blurry so that the skin and the text stands out more. Um, first, you hold all and then click and drag. And then go to filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur. And then you can make it as blurry as you want, but I'm just going to do that. In fact, I'm going to make it a bit more blurry. So, like that. And then, once you've done that, you can go to rubber, which is over here. And then, I usually make it fade, so gives it a bit of a good effect. There. And then, once you've done that, you can get rid of the outside part. Boom. Oh, it's still a bit at the top. Okay, right, just leave that. And then once you've done that, you can add a bit of a colour overlay. Just go to the brush and then choose a colour. I'll just do red. So just click and drag. That. And then go to this over here. And you get to choose which one. We go with the overlay. And then just drop down the opacity a bit. And then just get rid of the outside part again. And then you want to add maybe just a bit of light in the middle. So I'll just put one there and drop down the opacity again. So that looks pretty good at the moment. Once you've done this, go to place and then you can add in your skin. So I'll just try and find the skin right there. Here it is, here's the skin. So I'm going to position it where I want it to go. I'll do that. So, there. I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'll probably have the text on the right side. There. So, first of all, add a new layer down at the bottom. And then, at the moment it looks a bit flat, so you want to add a bit of light and shadows again so get the white brush and just fill in the parts where you think it'll be lighter so like there and then oops, and then go and see which one looks the best really so soft light looks pretty good and then you want to rub out the parts that stick out a bit with the rubber There. and then you want to add a new layer down at the bottom again here and then go to black and then make, him, make the back of him have a bit of a shadow there. I'm just going to do this pretty quick because right so that looks good alright so let's just get rid of That looks pretty good so far, but the saw doesn't really stand out, so let's add go to brush, go to blue. Let's add a bit of light to this as well. I'm just gonna do this. Looks pretty good. And then go down, see which one looks best. Overlay looks pretty good. And then you don't have to do this, I'm just gonna do this. Add a bit of white to the sides. There. Okay. 
for now. So I've done that. I'm just going to uh, go to the paintbrush again. Get pinkish. I'm going to go for pink. You can go for whatever you want, but then you can just add little parts where it's pink. That's a cool little pattern. I'm going to go for and drop down the opacity again so that looks really good so far and then now you can well I'm going to go to the, the GFX pack and go to flares and I'm going to add this cool little flare right here and add it to the sword like this makes it look so much better with the flares so like that that looks pretty good and then maybe if you want you can drop down the opacity a bit like that and then that looks so good right then you can go back to the pack again and then I'm going to add this flare right here and then control T to bring up this and then flip horizontal and I'm going to make it a bit bigger do that and it's going to get rid of that part there so that looks pretty good so far and then you should add a new layer and then go to black and then add a bit of darkness around the sides so now you can add a bit more color to it so let's go to let's go to like an orange and go for an orange color and then just at the top just drag across like that and go down to which one should we go for? Color dodge looks pretty good. I'm gonna go for overlay. Overlay looks good. And then once you've done that, that looks pretty good. And then now you want to add your text. So um, you can get pretty good text at dafont.com. I'll put the link in the description again. Um, I'm just going to put tutorial and make it bigger and then um, which one oh, I think I'll just go for this one here so I'm going for this one here, this one here. and we need to make it like a white colour for now and once we've done that, okay, double click this right here, text, then go to drop shadow, and then bring this spread up a bit and size. Let's make it have a bit of a shadow. And then go to gradient overlay. Um, I'll probably change this to. A yellowy orange. So double click this again. Orange. And then the text should look like that. It should have a bit of a fading off to an orange effect. So then go to satin. Drag that down a bit. In a glow, you don't need to use that. You can go over to stroke. Um, you can do whatever you want for this, but I'm just going to drag this to 5 maybe. And then I'm done with the text there. Then you can click Ctrl T and then just resize it to whatever you want. And then if you right click it and. Oh no, first go to Tutorial, 
which is a text, and then right click, rasterize type, then click Control T, right click, and then perspective, and then you can actually make it look a bit 3D by doing this. So it's like it's on a bit of a slant, and then what I do is drag it down again. So you've got two, and then just get rid of all the effects. In fact, no, get, keep the drop shadow and the gradient overlay, get rid of the rest. And then I'm going to drag it back a bit so it looks like it's behind it. Like that. That looks pretty good. And then add a new layer. And then go to like a yellowy colour. For me, it'll be yellow. You just need a lighter colour and then go over the top of the text. It just makes it glow a bit. I like that effect on my banners. Just like that. It doesn't have to be neat. So yeah, then you've done that. And then go to these and then go down to Color dodge is okay. Go down to overlay, that's what I've done. And drag the opacity down a bit. So that looks pretty good so far. Anyway guys, I'm not going to do anything else here because maybe that's a bit too advanced. Um, I'll be doing more tutorials for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, this will just be like part one. Um, there'll be more episodes coming. But yeah, you guys suggested to make this video and I've made it. Um, and yeah. Um, I've actually got a lot of banners to make uh, this weekend. I've got quite a lot. So I might be a while making some of the banners. I'll probably do about four this weekend. I'll try. But yeah, make sure you check out um, my website. Um, it's, I'll put it in the description, but it's also on the channel. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, make sure you like the video and share please and also make sure you check out my Twitter, that's what I'm going to say, check out my Twitter so you can keep up to date because I post regularly on there, um, but yeah, thanks for the 300 subscribers guys, it's amazing and remember this weekend I'll be doing a gr uh, giveaway, um, I'll probably be giving away a free banner. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I might actually start charging people for like higher quality banners, but more simple banners like these um, I'll keep free for now, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this uh, little tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video